I am back with some more Sea of Thieves and uh, with some more of the Lonely Sailor Returns. <laughs> it's been a while since I said that, so a bit confused. Um, yeah, we're on episode 36, I think. Um, and yeah, we're going to just... Uh, it's a bit of a random one because um, uh, with this rotation that's happening now, I was going to do four days of State of Decay, but I thought... Um, Instead of doing four days of State of Decay, which might be a bit much, I'll do two Sea of Thieves as well. Well, uh, do two days of State of Decay and two days of Sea of Thieves. Um, like, I'm still hoping to be able to do the update for State of Decay, but I'm kind of thinking it might not come out. Update 28. Um, so it might end up being... Um, it might end up being uh, Daybreak or something. Because I want to play State Decay, but I don't want to start up a new community yet. I want to leave that for the big update. Um, and experience all the new stuff fresh. And um, It's probably good to have a little bit of a break anyway. Um, I was going to say I would do Halo Infinite. But I, I said in um, my Assassin's Creed video that I would do some uh, State Decay. So... It'll either be the update or daybreak, which because um I watched a video from Get Good Fox and he said the update there's a chance for the update to be out on the sixth, which is Monday, uh, which is a few days away still from from when I'm uploading when I'm doing this. Uh, wow, it'll already be out by the time this is up on YouTube anyway. But um, yeah, we're hopping. Um, but besides that, it's mostly just, um, I thought I wanted to come on Sea of Thieves because I thought it was Season 5, but that doesn't c come out till the 2nd, so, and it's only the 30th, so I've kind of early for this as well. <laughs> so I won't be surprised if, um, State of Decay won't, I, I'm, because, like, the reason why people are saying State of Decay is going to be updated on the 6th is because there's, like, a time limit, like you can unlock some hats or something in the game like if you log in on the 6th and such and such um, but usually, be, like when they have, whenever they do that, they usually update the game before so that they like somewhat force you to log in on a specific day um, it's kind of weird for them to say when the update's out, then log in that, that, I don't think that's ever happened before, usually it's the updates before and then you have the time scale to log in to get what because it seems like there's new hats as well which is I thought it would be just the stuff that we've had before um, <coughs> uh, but yeah I did log in uh, the other day because they did uh, they did do uh, Black Friday deal. I don't know whether it's still going on. Oh, the sale is gone. And they like add like a load of um, emotes for free and everything. So I just got them all. <laughs> it's like if if they're not charging, you know, might as well take it. Um, So I was tempted to buy some stuff, but I thought, nah, like, the stuff that they were offering, it was like stuff that I was like, meh, I could probably live without it, really. So I never bothered. Um, the odds of me using half this stuff anyway. Oh, what's that one? Hang on. That's kind of cool. Oh, it makes my character look shit. Um, <coughs> but update um, for the season 5 for this looks really good. That's why I wanted to come on and play. <laughs> and I just realised it's not out yet. Uh, I will load in. But there's a few good changes. Like, uh, um, like you can bury your treasure now. And if you do it, you can have a, you can create your own, like, treasure map. 
Um, and then you go back to the outpost before you finish a game and you drop off the map at the outpost and then say someone logs in and they go to the board they can do your treasure map and then when you log back in and if that person's done all your treasure and handed it in you get a bit of money as well so it's kind of like a, a kind of really cool way to do it really like I'm surprised that they ended it before. Um, there's sitting, um, and there's just a load of cosmetic items coming. Um, it's not doesn't seem to be a major like I, I'm surprised season five is out already because um, I only felt like the other day where they did all this mermaid stuff. Oh no, cat! Stop! I can't have another day of this shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm still waiting for State of Decay to update. Because um, the thing is, I want to keep ahead as much as possible for Infinite. So it means like... I'm like, with other things that are updating right now, there's still a big delay, like... Um, so if State Decay does release on the 6th, this is probably still a few days, going to be quite a while after if I do Daybreak. Because um, I've got a week off and I'm like, I might as well do as much videos ahead as possible. Because it'll help them when I have Halo Infinite come out. Because um, then I could just focus streaming on that for a few days. And then like catching up almost. Um, oh man, I'm so looking. I'm looking forward to Infinite so much. Uh, I wanted to come and see these for a bit. Uh, there should be one episode today and one episode tomorrow, if it goes to plan. <laughs> um. Because I, um, because I logged in, um, whoa, 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 whoa. Because I logged in the other day, um, to check out the Black Friday sale. It was on my Xbox upstairs. And because I don't have that downloaded, I was using the cloud. And I gotta say, the cloud, when you've got like a wired Xbox hooked up to the cloud, um, Performs all right. It's not too bad. Um, like I've had worse um, experiences um, like on the laptop. At like playing it wireless on like a laptop, it, like the Xbox Game Cloud is kind of bad. But I gotta say, it kind of ran a bit better than my downstairs Xbox. Um, because I don't have, like, the Xbox I use for streaming and everything. It's not all wired up with the Ethernet cable and everything, so... I'm kind of... Like, my internet must be good, because it isn't dreadful, but... Like, streaming and doing online stuff. Like, it has its moments, but it's not too bad. Um... And I think if you get the storage chests, um, they now, um, can I pick that up then, I? Um, oh, with the new, well, with the old storage chests. Uh, you can go to any of the barrels around and just collect everything inside the barrel with the chest. It's kind of really cool. Oh, and that's another cool thing. Um, skeletons and uh, other mobs that use uh, guns, when they die, they drop bullets now, which is kind of cool. 
so you don't have to keep going to your ship to get bullets. Um, surprised that hasn't been a thing before. <laughs> like that just seems like such a simple thing to do. Oh yeah, that's one thing. Uh, we got. Uh, I like. I logged in the other day to get the Halo skin that they gave out for free. Spartan hull. Spartan sails. I say my controller's being really weird. It's every time I press, it's not registering when I'm pressing A sometimes. Not exactly the perfect thing to see though. <laughs> It's black. Um, but there's been a few updates with um, Halo Infinite, you could say. Like they've um, they're going to increase the XP you get um, from not 50 per round to. Um, for the first seven rounds, you play, I think the first three, you get 300 XP or something. And then it goes down to like 200 XP. And then you have one or two rounds with 100 XP, and then it goes back to the 50 XP per round. So it sounds a bit better. Um... <laughs> So I suppose it's better than nothing. Like, it's just weird restricting people. Like, I don't know. It's just I don't know why they're restricting people so much with Halo Infinite. Um. But. I, I suppose I'm making changes somewhat, but it's like, um, I think the guy that tweeted from Free for Free is like, um, the progression is at, at the top of our priority now. And it's like, it wasn't before the release. <laughs> like, because months ago, like, people were saying about this challenge thing and XP per round, and they never listened to them, to anyone, and it's kind of bit bullshit really for them to just ignore um, like all the people that were on the test servers because uh, all it is is for monetary gain um, I hate that so much I kind of carry more planks. It's bullshit. <laughs> um, but I suppose they're doing something. But can't help but think like they've had all these fixes ahead of schedule anyway. Like they were just like seeing if people will take to the changes or. They would accept the first change, like, it, like for example, if everyone said, "Oh, 50 XP per round was good," they wouldn't change anything after that. It's like that sort of thing. They're like just testing to see how far they can push it until we're like happy. It'll get to a state where we're like, "Oh, it's better than nothing," I suppose. And then I'll be, like, "Oh, we'll leave it there then." That's what they'll do with Halo. Um. It's a shame, but because they've got such a good game of Infinite right now, and they're really shitting themselves with, um, they're really, um, kind of falling on the face of this monetization thing now. Like, if they had like a good monetization system from the get-go, man. 
It probably might be my go-to. Can I interest you in some gold? How close am I to level? Oh, I'm pretty close to maxing out. Souls. And let's, um, so we got a few emotes now, I think. Are emotes in this? Yeah. Oh, these are the ones I got for free. A lot. Now you look at the um, customization in this. Mm, uh, welcome. Like, this is how they should do it for um, Halo Infinite. I know this is a paid game and everything, but like, like all this is stuff that you can earn in game by just playing, making gold, and it's. Pretty decent stuff, not like not as good as the stuff probably in the store, but like, you can make a cool pirate out of this, and that's probably why Goodbye. I've <laughs> bought. I, I've ended up buying yeah. stuff in the Emporium to in this game, just because like, the games are fun and rewarding. Like, and there's no like barriers just because you ain't gave them money for something that they want you to. All this you can buy by just playing the game. I oh, sure maybe all this stuff wasn't in the game from the get go. I don't know, but see you soon. Like, they, like people have said, like with Infinite, there's a lot of um, customization um, that they're just hiding away. Like some of the armor sets that, like some of the Reach armor sets in Infinite, are broken up. Which is kind of messed up. Like, I think, um, I think it's like Carter, um, Carter's armor from Halo Reach. Um, if you get that in the battle pass, he's missing like his shoulder pads or something. And people are saying that they're gonna release them in the store, so you have to buy the battle pass, unlock Carter in the battle pass, and then if you want his shoulder pads, you've got to buy that in the store. Like, what the? F <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> But, I, I suppose, uh, I just don't know, like, I don't know how they could have said, oh, yeah, they'll, people love this system. Um, but, I don't know. Um, it's been a bit janky, I don't know whether... Well, it's a wheat day, so I'd say it's a, it's gonna be a bit northwest. I'd say it's a wheat day, so I doubt it's gonna be that busy on the seas. On the sea of thieves. Ship skin. Fly the wheel. 
I really want the um, uh, State of Decay skin. Like they did a ship skin for State of Decay. Um, I want to be able to get that. But that was like a time limit. That was when I didn't have Sea of Thieves. So I weren't really bothered about it, but I have to do play Sea of Thieves kind of often. I want to see Chief. It's like a proper Spartan. Cool. That's really it. <laughs> and you get the light in the uh gem at the top, it kinda blinds you for a second. Yeah look, Jesus. <laughs> I think they have a free battle pass in here, so it's like I constantly get free stuff for free in this. Wait, is there a reputation? Season four. Here yeah, look. Is the top one paid? Uh, or is that the bottom one? I think there's a lot of quality of life changes coming to Sea of Thieves for season six, which is kind of cool. Like you can sit around the ship and everything now. It's more relevant in the bigger ships because you've got more locations, but like you can sit on the plank and everything. And they've got like a rowboat with a cannon on the front now, which is kind of cool. So technically, if you had a good setup, you could have a cannon on the back of your boat now. It's going to kick off before we get anything done. There we go. That's weird. I'm used to shit popping off. Oh. 
<laughs> I love that thing. Hmm, <laughs> don't think there's anything else here. <laughs> Look how cool that is. <laughs> they should have a skin like this, but I think they do have had skins like that. Like Spartan. But they should have one like that looks like Chief like that. Yeah, that's where I want to put it. That's a fucking out for one, isn't it? So, b -b -b Westish. into the storm. Oh, the storm's gonna come into us, I guess. There you go. <laughs> and that's the thing, like, see if these will become... Like, one day there won't be anybody on the Sea of Thieves. Well, they need to probably think ahead of that. Like, they should have, like, a Sea of Thieves offline option. Because so that's the sad thing with online games, is that when they shut off the servers one day, that's it. Like, um, I think with the older Halo games now, that were on the 360, they're shut down, like their services are going to be shut down soon. And that's kind of sad. I just really think they would want to preserve that sort of history. Like, sure, maybe you cut down on the servers and all that stuff, but it should still be around. Um, I think PlayStation had a lot of shit because they were shutting down certain stuff. Um, That's not good. Ow! And that's one thing they've added is like rats onto the ships. Um, so like Rats will start leaving where holes are at, so like water's coming in, and it'll give you like a better understanding. Of, oh shit, ship's going to shit. <laughs> I suppose we could shoot ourselves up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
That's a bastard that shot on the ship. Come on, you prick. Fucking going all the way around. All the way around. No, stop reading, you prick. the little arsehole. I can shoot my shit. Oh fuck. So these guys would end up dropping uh, bullets now. Well that's probably a good thing. Take this little dinghy. <coughs> oh, my ship's all right. Oh, actually, I should put my sword away. <laughs> so that you could get lightning strike. Creepy. <laughs> oh, and you can whisper using this now. Like you can uh, switch around. So, like, you got the uh, smaller end, and you can whisper, with, like, instead of like shouting to your crewmates sometimes that I do. <laughs> um. I can like whisper to them. I don't know how that will work, like I wonder if it happens with uh, distance. Um. I'm thinking this episode we'll chill out and play on our own and then next episode we might invite people. Get it. Ow. Stop. Ah. Back to the ship. <laughs> oh, we kind of got it. Oh, we kind of got it already. I mean, kind of tricky to spot what that island is then. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. No, I hate this. This is some Pirates of the Caribbean shit right here. <laughs> the fuck is my ship? Fuck am I going? Oh god. Really like that's worse than Grandford Order San Andreas. <coughs> Fuck that. <laughs> My ship's all around here. There it is. That's so cool looking. <laughs> but Alpha's trying to get out of here. Fight it, come on. What are you doing? What are you going forward for? Oh, you fucking tit. Last thing I need, dickhead shooting at me. That's the thing, you're constantly being uh, leveling up. Like, I know that it wasn't like this at launch, which was the bad thing. Like, that's that's the common thing with Microsoft games. Like, they're not always releasing in the state that it should be. Um, I 
Microsoft is kind of known for like releasing games half-assed and then telling the company to fix it afterwards. Like State of Decay was in a bad state when it came out, but for some reason that's now um, no. That's that's my that's been my favorite game since it released, even though it had problems at launch. Um, but that's because I'm a State of Decay fanboy, but I don't know. I, I feel like. Um, It's just... And look, like, Halo Infinite will come back from it. But I, I, I think the uh, progression... It's another Halo game where... Well, another Halo game... Well, I want to say, like, the previous Halo games have had fine progression. I'm sure not great with, like, the rec system and loot boxes and crap like that, but... We had something that was a bit more like manageable for everyone to sort somewhat get. And not trying to rip everyone off. Oh sure, there's no ripping off per se, because it's a free to play, but it kind of is ripping off because um I like, even like when you're buying the armors or the skins, like you can only use it for a certain type, it's kinda Ridiculous. Alright, let's study this. So this could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Let's just start at the top corner. I don't know, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, down that way. Take a while, guys. But we've got the X. That's all we need. So I don't know when I will actually cover the update for Sea of Thieves. I would like to try it out because it does seem like a good one. Um, <clears throat> this is the second, which will be. Thursday, when this comes out. That's what I'm kind of thinking, because it's the second, I'm kind of thinking that's when State of Decay will be updated. Because like, I've never heard of State of Decay be updated on a Monday, which is the 6th. Um, I don't think I've ever seen State of Decay be updated on a Monday, or any game. It's always a Thursday or a Tuesday, usually. So I'm kind of thinking, if they're going to update State of Decay, it'd be a Tuesday, uh, Thursday, before Monday, and then they'd be like, oh, come on, uh, log in on Monday, you get some new cosmetics. And we've got, looks like a handgun. <laughs> got a Reaper. Got an old Reaper. Oh, come on. I did see this one thing that they were selling um, for uh, Sea of Thieves on this store was like a t like a side table, um, and it had like the Sea of Thieves map on it, like this, and it's kind of cool. Like I was like, if I had some f good money on me, I would definitely have bought that. I'd probably do something like that for State Decay. If they had like a State Decay table with like a map on it, <laughs> like uh, Trumbull Valley on like a table, that'd be awesome. Uh, probably screaming at me. Oh. 
be nice if they told you, like, the size of it. A, a, bit, a few more details, you know. Uh. Kind of got a distinctive look to it. I doubt it. I don't think it's in the volcanic area. It's more tropical than that. <clears throat> oh, come on. And this is kind of the worst part of the game, like when you haven't got a clue. Like right now I've got my pants stacked around my ankles. Because if anyone starts shooting at me now, they've fucking done me in. Uh, I haven't seen anything. I suppose you could get another one, but I don't think that would help. <coughs> We've kind of got the answers, so I don't feel like I need to. Um. There's two reapers on the map. So I have no idea. None of these maps look like what I'm looking at.
It's got a very distinctive shape. I think that might be it. Yeah, and that's... That's it. Just like, right here. <coughs> Crook's Hollow. So... Got to get past a Reaper. Which ain't good. So northwest, northeast, northwest. Wish I was going that way. Ugh. Let's fucking do it. It's been a while since uh, Sea of Thieves has been a part of ro in a rotation. Because I could have done something different, like I don't know, The Sims 4 or something, but I thought, eh, I'll do this. Could change the pace. Now, what am I doing? It was northeast, wasn't it? There, if I go head from here. Oh shit. Get up. If I go past this island. And then go east. I'm somewhat avoiding that. Avoiding everything. Man. If I go past this island here, then do east, I'll be set. Some fish.
Sorry I'm not talking. <laughs> well, it's kind of tricky now there. I don't know. Why is that making that noise? Is it broken? Really an irritating noise. I don't think I've heard that before. Yeah, suck a dick. Really, I think they need to move these a bit further apart. Like, I think that needs to come down here a bit more. Why is that making that fucking rattle? That's really irritating me. Am I missing something here? Shit. That is cool looking. <laughs> Well, that's the thing with Sea of Thieves is um, you kind of don't have a moment of rest or anything. Like, like you, it takes a while for you to get anything done. 
But that's what makes it a bit more like rewarding. Uh, they, they have added like a leveling system where you just doing stuff actually gets you stuff, which is kind of good. Um, just playing the game rewards you. What the fuck was that? Kind of pretty. The two skeleton ships. I don't think I've ever seen two skelly ships before. Oh no, that's player. Is that the Reaper? Yeah, that's the Reaper, I think. That's not good. I'm gonna get wrecked. There you go. Dark. Same good. I wonder, like, the new um, thing where you can bury treasure, I wonder if you can bury, like, uh, I wonder if you can bury the, you know, the mega, like, the chest you get for this. That'd be kind of cool. So, like, you could just have another crew do it for you. There's another, is that the Reaper doing in that? They're getting into some shit, aren't they? I think there was a lad that said, um... One time that when that's lighting up, there's someone there. So maybe we go... Like, to be fair, I haven't lost any, I ain't got anything right now.
Let me just check I need to be where I need to be. Why you start? No, you prick. Motherfucker. <laughs> Are they coming after me now? No, shit. I'll be on a fucking swivel. Stop, sp stop spinning. It's that one. Trying to Still fighting that. Kind of panicking here. Oh, that's something. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of just think, just fucking go for them. Ah, uh, that doesn't look like what I'm looking at. Is it that thing? I was behind it. Ha 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 Sados. Oh, they're sinking to that. I would say help them. I know they're a reaper and it's bad luck. But they're gonna backstab me. So can they have a chance? They look like they're struggling. Let's help them. Look, I ain't got nothing to lose. Have they got rid of this shit? Do you want a hand? My fellow Reaper.
Well, I suppose we could help them and then let them have the ship. Fuck. Uh oh. What happened to my... I've got a bed. Why is there a bed? So much for trying to help. Don't know what I was expecting. Game loaded in, could do something. Then we lost the ship. <laughs> Fuck <it. laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Guess I'm on the skelly side now. Get up, you prick. Guess I'm, all, I'm guessing I'm on the skelly side now. Shame I don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of a good thing, because like... Well, not now, but... Say, um... In season 5. I was expecting. Or you thought I random people 
fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> you think... Because that Reaper was struggling on his own. Probably could have took on that crew, to be fair. If I was smart, I, I should have probably took on them. I should have worked with the skellies, and then that would have been smart. But I'm not smart. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll wrap it up there, and then we'll continue on the next episode. Um, it's a good way to end. Well, bad, bad way to end, I suppose. Um, and we'll just... I do some random stuff next time. I wouldn't mind going to the... Uh, oh, there's a fishing place, isn't there? I wouldn't mind doing something like that. So it's chill. Um, maybe. Um, but yeah, kind of annoying. Should become more aggressive, I suppose. So what's, I had nothing to lose there, really. I could, to be honest, I couldn't be bothered to do the vault. <laughs> a, even though I should have utilised it, because we got a good <laughs> map from the get-go, really. What the loading in this is bad, isn't it? I, that's the thing, like, it took that long to load in. I had no way to save my ship, you know? Like, it's kind of bullshit like that. Disadvantage. What's on the horizon today? Adventure calls. Does she always voice? I need a very, very large drink. Yeah, she always spoke. Looking pissed at. Um, yeah, well, I guess we'll end it there today because it's a somewhat good episode to end. Well, good timing, I suppose. And then next time, which we will be more or less continuing on where we left off, uh, we'll just carry on and see what we can get up to. Um, it's good to be back in the game. It's a shame it is an update like the season five. So I would like to try test that out. So I might I might be back on relatively soon anyway when the update does come out with a random stream and see what what's happening. Um, so yeah, we'll wrap it up there for today. So as always, um, let's have a good end screen. Then we'll crack on in the next one. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, so, yeah, continue on in the... There'll be some more tomorrow, which will just continue on where we left off. Uh, keep an eye out. There should be Halo Infinite coming up around about this time-ish, hopefully, on YouTube. Um, and yesterday and the day before should be State Decay. It might be Daybreak if I still haven't got the update. Um, hopefully by next rotation we'll be playing the update, but I, I don't know. I'm thinking either between Thursday and Monday it'll come out, but I, I just don't know when. I I because I'm kind of trying to get as a few rotations done ahead, so I might not be able to do State Decade next rotation. I don't know whether to just do Infinite or something. I don't know because um, it wouldn't hurt having a bit more time away from State Decade, but it's just I miss it. I miss playing State Decade. So yeah, we'll wrap it up there for today. So as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.